So let me make one thing perfectly clear about this review. I am not a feminist, nor I am sexist. I am just doing a review of a comic book movie which stars a female protagonist. So keep your opinions to yourself, because if you don't, then there's going to be a war everywhere on the internet. Got it? Okay, now let's not start a flame war. Anyway, I saw Birds of Prey. It was actually pretty good. Was it a great film? No. But was it better than Suicide Squad? Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. Suicide Squad felt like a Netflix adaptation compared to this movie. It had way better action scenes, it had a way better villain, and it had a way better cinematography. While it might not be a great film, I still had fun with it. Now, with that said about Suicide Squad, let's talk about what I liked and disliked about this movie. The first thing I liked was the fight scenes. Holy moly, they were brutal. Most of them were shot in one take, similar to the Daredevil fight scenes. Were they more violent than the fight scenes in the Deadpool movies? I'd say they're equal. I also really liked the characters. You got Harley Quinn, you got Black Canary, and you got... Is that Ramona Flowers? Oh, that was her. And you got our perfect villain, Black Mask. General Kenobi. He was so ruthless, so diabolical, so evil, so funny, that it gave me one question to think about during the movie. Why wasn't Ewan McGregor the Joker? I mean, really think about it for a minute. He acted like the Joker, he kind of sounded like the Joker. This was a missed opportunity. You should have cast him instead of Jared Leto. That would have made Suicide Squad more enjoyable. Anyway, moving on. Now let's talk about the things I disliked about Birds of Prey. First off, I didn't like Renee Montoya. Thought she was annoying, I thought she wasn't well developed. She almost made me walk out of the theater. And another thing I didn't like about it was the title. Now bear with me on this, it is a pretty awesome title, but I feel like they should have called it Harley Quinn the movie because the Birds of Prey didn't come in until the third act. Although you think about it, the Avengers didn't technically assemble to the third act of the movie which is one of the greatest cinematic moments in cinematic history. Or they could have called it Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. I could go on making different titles, but it is what it is. And you got the stupid liar reveal trope, which is in every animated movie ever. It was when Harley Quinn tied up Cassandra Cain to get the money and for everyone to stop hunting her. Oh, well, if you think about it, the plot Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. That's right, this movie has the same plot as Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. But they're bounty hunters! Laugh! So what do I think of the movie overall? It wasn't actually that bad. If you're really into graphic fonts and if you're a fan of Harley Quinn, then this movie is for you. But is it gonna dominate the box office? We're gonna have to find out after Sonic releases. Oh, and one more thing. DC, if you ever make a sequel to Birds of Prey, can you do a scene where they assemble again and they go off to fight the villain and then Harley Quinn turns the radio and A Thousand Miles by Fifth Nights Carlton plays and they start singing? Asking for a friend.